Okay, here is a case called disseminated intravascular coagulation, microthrombi, microinfarcts, kidney. I think we could recognize the fact that we have a kidney here. I think you can also notice that the glomeruli seem to be standing out quite a bit in that they seem to be a lot redder than usual. I think you can also possibly realize the fact that the cortex looks like uh, in many areas, especially here in the tubules, that it has lost its delineation of cellular uh, detail uh, like you see in infarcts. But also notice how these glomeruli seem to be quite red. And uh, why do you think that might be? Well, let's zoom in on one of the glomeruli. And you'll notice that not only does it seem to be very much congested, but it seems like the glomerular vessels are also filled with some uh, granular red material as well. Well, if you were to do a stain, which is fairly specific for fibrin, called an MSB stain, which stains uh, fibrin nice and brown, you will notice that fibrin is accumulating in all of these uh, glomeruli that look red. This is, these are not just hyperemic glomeruli, they are filled with fibrin. They are filled with fibrin because this is a DIC case and basically uh, many, many, many small vessels in the body are uh, forming clots. This is also called a consumption coagulopathy because it consumes fibrin, fibrinogen, and uh, platelets. And this is a pretty striking example as to why those glomeruli look uh, congested. It's not congestion. It's actually small thrombi within the glomerular blood vessels. And it also explains why the uh, other parts of the cortex, uh, noticeably the tubules, look like they have lost their nice uh, nuclear and uh, cytoplasmic differentiation and that's because uh, they are infarcted. So there are multiple microinfarcts and even larger than microinfarcts throughout this renal cortex on the basis of small thrombi occurring possibly everywhere in this person's body and most noticeable in this case where we see uh, thrombin infarcts uh, chiefly throughout the glomeruli and uh, thank you very much.